lovely morning. Turned up, beautiful weather, bit of sun, bit of cloud, a little bit of a breeze. Felt quite mild. I think it was about eight degrees, if I remember. It wasn't particularly cold, but cold enough, you know. You wouldn't be fishing there in a t-shirt. Well, I wouldn't be anyway. Anyway, got the rods out. Um, same rigs as last time. Uh, same hook baits, I think. I remember uh, we ended up on 15 mil cell. So a couple of 15 mil cell hook baits just straight out of the, ba straight out of the bag. Trimmed off with a little bit of a yellow topper um, just to create a bit of a wafter. And um, and I just put a bit of bait around each one, just a few catapults of 10 mil cell. Yeah, so I got the rod sorted out. And um, next thing was the main, most one of the most important things, obviously, is uh, to get kettle on. Especially after push, pushing that barrel around. So, yeah. Got a kettle on, settled back and waited for my first bite. been here too long, an hour and a half, and um, the first comment is made. I'm not too sure how big it is, but we're going to have a little look. Get him out, it's particularly big, but anyway. Nice start to the morning. First fish of the morning, uh, rods have only been out for a couple of hours. Nice chunky common, uh, 22 pound exactly. Um, so, first 20 of the day, hopefully, and a few more. Just spin him around, have a look on his other side. Ooh. Quite a nice fish. All the little wafters again, and uh, little tiny bags of pellet. So I'm um, we'll slipping back and get the other rod out and uh, knock bag out and uh, see if we can nick nick a few more during the day. Quite nice, wasn't it? Anyway, nice start, and uh, yeah, well pleased. Second one in the morning, not particularly big, but a bite's a bite. They're definitely on the bait now, which is great. Spin 
man have a look at his other side. We've got a bright little scrap actually for three sides. Like I say, not particularly big. But a bright little scrap. I thought it was bigger, a lot bigger than what he uh, turned out to be. But anyway, quickly get that all back out and uh, so we can get some more. More? found the bait which is really good and uh, try and get him back quickly and uh, get the rod out and carry on catching I think that's the, that's the thing but um, it's throwing the fish up now obviously you know before when I first started it I was really scratching and not really catching much but there I am but um, I'm still waiting for the big ones there's supposed to be a few big ones in here and one of them's got to trip up at some point so just have to keep plodding through these and uh, hopefully one or two of the better ones. I'm gonna slip it back. much nicer fish big bodied common not as big as I thought it was gonna be but the thing is when you have those other ones and you get used to having 15s and 16 pounders when a 20 comes along it looks much much bigger but this was 21 21 pound exactly but one of the better ones, lovely old common actually. Lovely old fish, got a big old belly on him. Nice old common that is, lovely. Really nice. I'll show the other side. A nice clean fish that is. And I remember to keep them wet. Can't emphasize enough about keeping them wet. Oh, 
dark common, lovely dark common, look at that. Got a nice mouth, lovely overslung mouth. It'd be nice at 30 odd pound, but anyway, he's lovely. 21 pound exactly on the nose. And uh, it's nice to just have those slightly bigger ones come along. Slightly bigger bait, obviously picked up a slightly bigger bait. So um, we're gonna go that way now. It's all about the bigger baits now. So um, we'll get some pictures and then I'll slip it back. Get that rod out a bit sharpish. makes a bit of a change nice to have a mirror um, had lots of commons fish number five almost, almost losing count there seems to be obviously lots of fish in here lots more than what I thought there was but um, anyway still again nice to be having bites and the mirror makes all the change so um, yeah have a look at these other sides shall we they could be really nice these fish they're just people I just wish people would look after them just a little bit more. Just take a, a bit more time with them, a bit more care. And just think about how you take the hook out and things like that. Don't rush to take the hook out, you know, just take your time. And if it don't come out, get yourself a pair of forceps and, and try and get it out. A big old paddle on him. Quite a nice colour. Thank you very much, Mr Mirror. Well, so far it's been quite an eventful morning. Um, we had six fish, a couple of those were 20s, a couple of nice 20s, had a nice mirror of around about 18 pound, I didn't weigh him, it was about 18 pound, and the rest were um, kind of like scrappy commons if you like. Um, they're not all in um, <clears throat> in great nick because they never are, are they, in, in these sort of places. I just wish, like I say, wish people would look after them just a little bit more, or even just understand about you know, taking hooks out and that and just being careful when you take them out. Um, I'm not going to get into the barbless and the barb debate and all the rest of it, but, um, you know, they're hooked and that's the end of it. When you get them in, just be careful when you take the hooks out of them out, especially when they're young, that's, that's the thing. Sometimes you can you can get a, a young fish, a small fish, seven, eight pound, nine pound, ten pound, you know, and you might not be particularly happy with catching it, like a oh, little sprat or, or whatever sardine <laughs> but you gotta remember they're the fish of the future you know whether you like to catch that or not at the time so the more you look after them when they're young oh i'm away that is a prime example of what i was just talking about perfection in miniature picked up a big bait after me talking about big baits just unhook them nice and carefully little Whisker barb, as you know, on a size eight wide gate. But just unhook them nice and carefully and look after them. And if they've got any marks or any damage in their mouth, then treat it straight away. But if they haven't, it's fine. This one's really clean, so I'm not going to even bother. There's no even, not even a hook mark in it. It's absolutely spotless. But you know, perfection in miniature. That is, look at it. It's gorgeous. If you look after that fish. Hopefully one day that'll grow on and someone will catch that at 30, maybe even 40, or even 50 pound. Who knows? So it was turning into one of those sessions. Um, every time I recast the rod, I had another fish within about 45 minutes, 
to an hour, and I just kept the feed going in as well. Just a small, you know, small pouch full of boilies every time I had a bite, and probably every like 20 minutes or something like that, half an hour. Just kept topping up that swim, that spot, or those spots. Um, just kept the fish coming in. Um, weather was perfect as well, so it was all um, it was all coming together nicely. Well, I'm losing count now. I think I'm on about 10 or 11. But this one definitely beats them all for the best looking. Absolute perla. It's probably around about 14 pound, maybe, maybe 15 pound. I'm not gonna put a weigh in it. Lovely little zip in here. Well, that's going to be nice when it gets big, but it's absolutely beautiful now. Look at it. Gorgeous. I don't want to sit still. But very, very pretty. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Imagine that at 30 pounds. Definitely taking the title for the best looking fish of the day so far, anyway. But um, yeah, taking on a big bait, 15 mil cell bottom bait, tipped with a little yellow uh, pop up. So just waft, like wafter style, size 8 wide gate. But uh, look at that for a, for a linear. A little golden belly, shining in the light. Lovely. Well, it's been a really good day. We've had quite a few fish, um, a few twenties, really nice zip linear, nice mirror, um, and the rest were commons. The rods are still out. It's dark at around about six o'clock now, so we're getting slightly longer days, which is great. Uh, won't be too long, and hopefully we'll all be uh, back to night fishing, a little bit back to normal. Um, yeah, it's been an enjoyable day, and um, I'll 
have a slow pack up, uh, but you never know, might nick another one just before it gets dark. If I do, you'll see it. If I don't, I'll see you again another time. But thanks very much for watching. Appreciate all the subscriptions. Um, stay safe out there. So, just as I was saying it, the right rod went off. Typical, isn't it? Um, nothing particularly big. Another common, seems to be loads of them here, this sort of size. So I'm going to unhook him and slip him back. But left rod's still out, and I'm going to put this one back out again, quickly. Um, never know. Might well, sound a bit bigger. Well, that did turn out to be the last fishing of the session. Had a brilliant time. Can't wait to get back out again. Please do me a favour and hit the sub and the like button. Really appreciate it. Stay safe out there.